another uh, weekly reading vlog and vlog of a week in my life. If you watch my past two vlogs, you may know that I got stung by a bee. Turns out I am maybe mildly allergic, so I'm on my way to urgent care to try and get that taken care of. Um, hopefully I can get some sort of medication or they can figure out like why it looks super <laughs> gross. It doesn't look super gross. It just looks like I have a giant bruise. Like a bruise like this big on my leg. Reading wise, I am uh, a little bit into A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahir Mafi. Uh, it's really good so far. I feel like I only ever hear her associated with probably you're getting like all the AC. Uh, noise on you right now, sorry. Um, with the like Shatter Me series, but uh, I haven't read those either. These are really good. I'm really digging it. Um, yeah. And then I'm a little bit into the fourth Percy Jackson and the Olympians. So um, depending how long urgent care takes, we'll see how far I get into both of those today. Hi, welcome to my final bee sting update. Yes, I promise this is the final one. So I went to urgent care. Luckily, the one that I went to was like super like chill. There weren't a lot of people there, so they saw me very fast and it was very clean and just like overall a good environment. So 10 out of 10. The doctor was took a look at it. He was like, it looks like it's going down. It's nothing to really worry about. Um, like he looked at the pictures that I took that I sent my mom the, like a couple of the week before. Um, he's like, yeah, it definitely looks like it's getting a lot better. So like, you're totally good. Um, he like prescribed me some like antibiotics to take if it gets worse. Um, but yeah, overall things are great. I'm mildly allergic. I am halfway through a very large experience to see. I am loving it. Super adorable. Super good. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Um, so yeah, that's, there we go. I just finished A Very Large Expanse of Sea. It's real good. It's a romance, but also it has like, it has like a lot of like political commentary in it and it just, uh, wow, it hurt. What I'm working on next, I'm currently uh, finishing up Percy Jackson. Um, my goals for tomorrow. Let's see if I follow through. I'm gonna finish up Percy Jackson. I am going to, oh, I also started, cause the script was being super weird. So I also started, um, don't read the comments. So I'm on like the third or fourth chapter of that. I'm not very far and it's pretty good so far. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. <laughs> It is currently Saturday. I had a weird like Thursday and Friday so I didn't read anything unfortunately um, just wasn't in the cards for me. So today um, it is my goal to finish uh, hold on hi I'm back it's my goal to finish these two books. Um, I think I can do it. I am going to do nothing else today. <sighs> Let's see how it goes.
it. So I figured I'd do a little unboxing for you. So this month's theme was written in the stars. So here's the spoiler card. It's so pretty. Look at that. I always love the art on like the spoiler cards and the um like the the card that tells you next month's theme. It's always just so gorgeous. Ooh, okay. Oh. <laughs> we are made of star stuff. <gasps> they're push pins, but they're in this gorgeous jar. Oh my gosh. What else? Oh. Oh, pretty. There's a scarf designed by Vernon Ink Co. What does it say? I'm gonna like unravel it so I can read what it- oh it's a gorgeous design. I can't- I can't really read it though. But I don't want to undo the knot because I know I won't be able to redo it. So it like has like moons and stars and like lunar moths on it and it says the dream chooses the dreamer. Is this from Strange the Dreamer? I'm pretty sure. It feels very, it feels like a very Strange the Dreamer uh, design with the moths and the moon. I've been wanting more like head scarves and things like that because my hair is getting out of control. Next is a pen. Oh, pretty. It's a very simple like pen with a little star on the top. And then we have our I'll create exclusive pin. It's from Band of Weirdos. This is the designer, so <laughs> first of all, love the name, but it's such a pretty pin. Ooh, and then a, you know, a pad, a, a writing pad type deal. I heard, <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> clipboard? Clipboard. That's what it's called. It says, you shine brighter than any constellation in the sky. So it's this. I am, I love all things like stars and like constellations. I have a lot of different like clothing items and things that have like constellations on them. So I'm digging it. And then book cozy. Wow, we are stardust and stories. I think, yeah, this must be from um, the starless sea, just looking from the design, but it's so pretty. I love book cozies. I have so many from um, Bookvo. I don't know what company this is from. So the artwork is from Quirky Cup Collective. This is super gorgeous. I have so many book cozies and I love them. Whenever I like the rare occasion I lend a book to a friend, I always put it in a book cozy and I'm like, when you are not actively reading the book, it goes in this book cozy. If my book comes back damaged, I will find you and I will hunt you down. And then finally, the book of the month is Star Daughter by Shiveta Bakara. First of all, look at the design of this book. The cover is so pretty and it has sprayed edges, beautiful purple sprayed edges. And I always check to see. Nothing super, this is the naked, naked book. And with all Alcree books, they're always signed by the author. Oh, focus, come on, there we go. So, if you're wondering what this book is about, I'm very excited for this book. In every I'll Create we get a letter from the author, so I'll read that a little bit later. And we get a little like magazine type deal that has, um, has like an interview with the author. It has, it like shows the difference between the original and the I'll Create edition has a cute little crossword and looks similar to um, uh, the book of the month. Um, so similar books would be Amber and Dusk, which I read, and I liked it decently. Started Us by Neil Gaiman, which I absolutely love, and Spin the Dawn, which I am reading this month, so I'll be picking that one up very soon, as well as like an interview with one of the designers another photo challenge and of course my favorite part which is a Spotify playlist exclusive for like the themes of the book. Oh and last but not least of course is next month's theme which is a glorious haunting. So that's next month's theme. Um sounds spooky 
I don't really do spooky, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, it says a spoiler for next month is every September box will include a cozy throw blanket designed by Michelle Gray. Which I think they've started a wait list for September, so if you want a September box, get on that wait list because spots fill up fast with all create. There we go. That's my unboxing. I got a little bit further into Battle of the Labyrinth. I'm going to continue reading it because um, I'm going to finish this today as well as Oh my god, I have so much stuff on my bed now, as well as The Last Olympian. So these are my goals for today. I'm gonna finish them. Hello, good morning. Or it's not good morning anymore. It's it's afternoon, whatever. Um, so yesterday I did manage to finish the Battle of the Labyrinth of Fourth Percy Jackson, and I am about halfway through The Last Olympian, so I'm gonna finish this up today. I know I said I was gonna finish it yesterday, but <laughs> Do my plans ever follow through? Let's be real for a second. I did also start the audiobook for Girls of Storm and Shadow. Um, so I am about like a quarter, maybe even a third of the way through that one. So um, I'm gonna be listening to that as well. As of right now, I have, let's see, I have half of this book. I have like two thirds of that, five, Wait, one, two, three, four, five of the, um, the second series of Percy Jackson, so seven, and the, uh, uh, Spin the Dawn. Eight books to read in eight days. We good. I finished, <laughs> I finished, uh, the, the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. It's so good. I just have enjoyed rereading these books so much. Last time I read them, I think I was in like seventh or eighth grade. So to be able to revisit them um, now, just as I've gotten older, it's so, so good. Um, and I just, I love seeing the characters grow and like age and like, I mean, you start out and they're they're twelve, and then in this one they're sixteen, and it's just you see them grow up so much and grow and change in their friendships. Yeah, this is a good one. Now I'm gonna start the lost. What is it? The lost heroes. So I'm gonna be starting those. Um, I've read. I've at least read the first one before and maybe the second one, but I don't know if I read the other ones. Um, so I'm very interested to see uh, what happens. Hello and happy Monday. I was editing my video and uploaded my video for today. I did the books and musical tag. Um, yeah, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. Um, although I'm, I, I need to do something other than tags. I've done a lot of tags recently and I'm getting, I'm getting tired of them, so like, I'm sure y'all might be getting tired of them, um, but I have some other things coming up, which I'm excited about. About halfway through Girls of Storm and Shadow, so I'm gonna try and finish that today. I think I have like five more hours left, and I listen to it on double speed, so I should get through that pretty quickly. I might go for a walk. Maybe I'll go walk and get boba or something. Although the last time I went for a walk I got stung by a bee and that was a whole thing so. But I'm also going to start on the Lost Hero, um, so the Heroes of Olympus series. I'm getting started on that. My friend uh, Jenna, who I'm kind of like buddy reading this with, she's already on the fourth one. She's so much- <laughs> I'm such a slow reader. <laughs> She's a very fast reader. Yeah, I'm, I don't normally like read books with other people because of that, because I am a really slow reader. Hello, happy um, Tuesday, even though it's, it's not Tuesday anymore. It's like past midnight. It, I think it's like one, maybe 2 a.m. I don't know. In true weekly reading vlog fashion, I forgot to, film at all today. Um, so uh, here I am checking in. <laughs> today I managed to finish Girls of Storm and Shadow and the audiobook for that and I also <laughs> 
forgot that I had borrowed a Mall and Bound from uh, the library and I got like a notification it was like you have 10 hours to finish this. I'm like ah right I knew I was forgetting something so I uh, read that today. It's really good really good middle grade um, and Girls of Storm and Shadow was good. I forgot with like the first book um, I was the biggest fan of the, the main character um, and I was reminded of some of the reasons why, mostly because she makes stupid, rash decisions and doesn't think things through. Like, girl, come on, just do like a little thought process. I know there's a lot happening in your life right now, but can we just think, think about it before we do it, you know? Um, so yeah. So I finished that one. It's still good though. It's still a good story. I didn't read at all the <laughs> the Lost Hero. <laughs> I didn't realize how much bigger they are than the Percy Jackson books. They're Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Those are like 300. And Lost Hero and all the, the heroes of all of those books are like 500 pages. So they're a little bit bigger. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm going to try and finish it before the end of the month. I have this, this next week. So you'll see next week. Um, stay tuned for my next reading vlog. And on that note, I'm finishing this one. I'm saying goodbye. Thank you for watching. <laughs> if you've stuck around this long, um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below letting me know what you read this week, um, if you enjoyed anything, or what you're planning to read next week. I, uh, yeah, I'm starting to put together my, like, kind of, like, what I might want to read in September. But I'm not going to commit to anything next month, because uh, this month was crazy. It was too much. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see more videos, if you want to see if I actually do manage to read all the Heroes of Olympus books, be sure to hit subscribe. I make bookish videos every Monday and Thursdays when I post, and be sure to turn on that little bell icon so you get a notification, and you don't miss it when I post. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time, bye!